Hi, I'm Cheryl Strange, the Chief Executive Officer of Western State Hospital, and I want to welcome you to our hospital. Western State is the largest state-run psychiatric hospital west of the Mississippi. We take care of about 900 patients and have about 2,000 staff. So come on in and take a look. Situated on a 763-acre campus in Lakewood, Western State's 44 buildings cover more than 1.1 million square feet. If we do our job well, we will be able to feel good about providing quality health care for folks that really need it with mental illness. And we will be able to help those folks to be part of our community. They add to the diversity of the folks that live in Washington State. This is a nurturing and caring environment. And we try to take care of people and do the best we can and help them with their problems or symptoms. Western State is nearly two decades older than the state of Washington itself. It was established in 1871 on the site of Fort Steelicum after the U.S. Army abandoned the military post. Originally called the Insane Asylum of Washington Territory, it opened with 21 patients. Eventually, the original buildings were demolished to make way for a larger main ward. And in 1915, it was renamed Western State Hospital. Just as the campus has evolved, so have the methods used to treat its mentally ill patients. Hydrotherapy gave way to electric shock therapy and lobotomies. Eventually, treatment shifted to the psychotropic drugs, counseling, and behavior modification that are still used today. People think that they're not as functional as other people, which is not true. People who are mentally ill can function the same way um, if they're on the right medications and uh, get the right treatment. They can definitely function just as everybody else. Patients reside in either civil or forensic wards. Civilly committed patients have been determined to be a danger to themselves or others following an evaluation by a mental health professional. Civil wards, like this one here, are locked, although patients do have the right to earn off-ward privileges based on their treatment progress. Eventually, some are allowed to leave campus for short trips. On the civil wards, the goal is to stabilize the patient and return him or her to the community as quickly as possible. Forensic services are for patients who have been committed to Western State by a court of law, including those who are undergoing evaluation for competency to stand trial. The Center for Forensic Services also provides treatment for defendants who have been found not guilty by reason of insanity. The one thing that we tr really try and focus on is safety for patients, safety for staff, uh, safety for the community. One of the, one of the sayings that someone had said when I first went through training when I came on board here is uh, you're responsible for my safety, I'm responsible for your safety, and we're all responsible for patient safety. And that really struck a chord with me uh, and hit home um, because it's, it's very, very true here. Each resident works with a treatment team that includes psychiatry, pharmacy, nursing, rehabilitation, and social work staff. Uh, unfortunately, the only time that you know we see ourselves in the news is when something goes wrong, uh, but there, there are literally thousands of success stories throughout you know, just my time here at the hospital. You know, people that I have seen uh, get better and never come back to the hospital. In addition to traditional cognitive behavioral therapy, Western also offers art therapy. Patients are encouraged to express themselves through painting, sculpture, and ceramics. The objective, like all the programs offered at the hospital, is to aid in the recovery process. We have folks in the Department of Social and Health Services that realize um, that the job of taking care of the mentally ill is far more complex uh, than it used to be. Uh, and we have people that are willing to say, what is it that we need to do, first of all, um, to create the right structure and how do we resource it appropriately so that we can feel confident and proud that we're doing a good job. Recovery has been the guiding principle at Western State for more than 140 years and that won't change as the hospital works toward a future focused on safe staff, safe patients and better quality of care.